Back in the spring, I paid a little visit down to New Orleans, Louisiana. And today, I'm going to recreate a dish I had there. The famous gum... Oh. Um, the po' boy... Uh... Jambalaya. The muffaletta sandwich. Yeah, screw it. I already made it. Let's just begin the video. All right, first off, let's begin by making the muffaletta bread. The whole thing just one big Italian hamburger bun. Except it's much more hearty and bigger. All right, like any bread, we got to start off with a water sugar yeast mixture. So I have here in this cup a cup and a half of filtered water, not tap water, filtered water. If you can drink your tap water without it turning you into a diarrhea-powered human flesh rocket, then that's fine. But, but yeast is pretty weak, so please just use filtered water. Now to our water, let's add two tablespoons of sugar. Mix it until it's dissolved as best you can. Listen, yeast is not those YouTubers who trespass on abandoned property for clout. Yeast is not those urban explorers YouTubers. They're not gonna have fun in a big place full of nothing. So, water, sugar, and they'll be happy. Speaking of which, let's add one packet or two and a half teaspoons of yeast. Mix until you get a slurry. All right, that ought to do it. And as the yeast come alive from their watery grave, let's get to work on the rest of the ingredients. I have here a stand mixer with the hook attachment, to which I'll add three cups of all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of salt. One tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, it still needs time to rise. Oh, geez, it's about time to wake up. What's even the point of rehearsal if I... Uh, oh, <laughs> let's add our water sugar yeast mixture to the bowl. And crank on low speed. Yeah, I could use a little bit more flour. All right, everything's come together. Let's turn the mixer off. All right, next, let's take the bowl, cover it in a tea towel, and let this rise in a warm place for one to two hours. Yeah, geez, one to two hours. What should I do to then? Oh, I know. Let's thank today's video sponsor, Boksu. Boksu is a monthly Japanese snack subscription service. Oh, but this ain't your normal box of Pocky you get at the Asian food section of your grocery store. These are high-quality artisanal treats imported directly from Japan. So what did I get in my boxu box? Well then, let's find out. Yokohama Buttercream Sandwich Biscuit. Oh, they have little designs baked onto them. Excellent. Oh, in this weird package I have a Japanese white strawberry. Hmm, it's like strawberry flavored white chocolate. And finally there's Whatever this says. I don't know what it is, but it would go good with some coffee. If you want to get your hands on some high quality Japanese snacks and also help out the channel, use the link in the description below. Taste the wonders of Japan by signing up for a subscription box. Thank you to Boxing for making this possible. Now back to the show. All right, with the ad read done, let's return our attention to the other former Axis power. Uh, no, Italy. We're going to be making the olive salad that goes on top of our muffaletta. So obviously for our base, we're going to need olives and lots of them. I have here in this bowl, two cups of green olives pitted and minced. Let's also add four ounces of capers chopped. One quarter cup of jardinera. One large shallot finely diced. Three cloves of garlic minced. Quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano. And half a teaspoon of dried basil. Three teaspoons of red wine vinegar. And a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. 
Mix it together with a spoon. All right, let me give this a taste. Eh, a little bit more oil. Cover this in saran wrap. And let's set this aside in the fridge for now. First things first, preheat the oven to 425. Was your Presidente re-elected in a totally fair, definitely not rigged re -electin? The number you're looking for is 220 degrees Celsius. All right, and now let's get back to the bread. And as you see, it's ballooned up to twice its size. Uh, Pyrocynical, if you're watching, try to keep it in your pants, please. So, dust it up, let's dust it a bit, and my favorite part, punching it down. Let's dust our work surface. And uh, let's form this into the muffled bread shape, which is basically a giant hamburger bun. So let's fold it in on itself. Stretch into a ball. And then let's flatten it out. And let's place it on a parchment lined baking sheet. All right, next. Well, my clumsiness already gave it away. We're gonna brush on some egg wash. Then let's sprinkle it with a generous helping of sesame seeds. And yeah, this kind of looks a little flat, but don't worry, it's gonna puff up a lot in the oven. Speaking of which, place our bread in the middle of our 425 degree oven and let it cook for 45 minutes. Okay, our bread is done baking. Let's carefully transfer it to a cooling rack. Okay, now we just need to let the bread cool. I tried. Let's cut this baby open. First, layer on some ham. Nom. Then, generous amounts of mortadella. Nom. Then some nice salami. Nom. And layer on some provolone cheese. Hey, I had a really hard time peeling those layers of cheese off. Nom. Finally, let's top everything off with our olive salad. Here we go, folks. Our muffaletta sandwich is complete. Now, you don't have to be drunk in order to eat the whole thing, but it helps. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen.